Yo, thank you for the bits on Owen. My mom brought our cat to me because he was pissed I moved out. Oh, that's sweet. I actually had to leave my um, my boa constrictor at home. My sister's taking care of her now. Oh, but I raised her ever since she was like a little tiny baby and I could fit her in one hand. Uh, and now she's like, like six or seven feet. She's a big girl. I'll post pictures of her on Twitter sometime. It's just, I don't like posting um, like IRL photos because I feel like that sort of like breaks the immersion. Not like I'm playing a character or anything. It's just like my own personal values about it, you know? Yeah, I, she was a red tail boa. Uh, her name is Sterling. What's the weirdest thing you have to pay for when owning a pet boa constrictor? I mean, I mean, I guess paying for the frozen rats is pretty weird. I was a regular at my local pet shop. Just, you know, buying frozen rats. <laughs> How hard is it to take care of a snake? Honestly, they're kind of like house plants. Oh, no, you heated up the rats. Actually, I would put them in like a Ziploc bag and I would put them under hot water for like an hour. Uh, and then I would like change out the hot water to make it like hot again uh, for like 20 minutes or so to get it like up to sort of maybe like a body temperature. But honestly, taking care of a snake is like taking care of a house plant. You just got to handle them like once or twice a week to keep them tame. Which isn't really a problem with animals like uh, like ball pythons, which are naturally very very docile. Uh, but boa constrictors, uh, constrictors get like a little like ornery if they don't get handled very often. Uh, and there was a time where uh, I had like uh, like a bad like few months, and I just like wouldn't handle her very much just because I was super anxious all the time, uh, and I had to like retame her. <laughs> Like, I, I had to, to warm her back up to me again. All right. Uh, what is this? Round four? Yeah, I had to mind break her, basically. 